Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module, we'll be looking at the Venn Diagram by MAQ Software. Now, the Venn Diagram might uh, kind of take you back to your old school days where you learned about Venn Diagrams, and the idea here in Power BI is very similar. But a Venn Diagram is basically overlapping circles that shows relationships between two or more categories. So in the use case on the right-hand side, you can see I have students that are part of history and geometry classes. I have 3,000 students that are in geometry classes and 1,000 students that are in history classes. And it looks like there's 1,000 that overlap between the two of them. So my guess will be that the same 1,000 students that are taking history classes are also required to take geometry. However, the 3,000 students that are taking geometry are not required to take history. And so you can kind of see that depicted here in the chart on the right-hand side. Now, with the Venn diagram by MAQ software, you can display up to four categories, which means four different circles can be displayed on your chart. So I'd have another circle above and below that if I had up to four categories. And one single measure can be displayed. So in this case, we're looking at the number of students displayed is the measure that we're looking at. Now, the legend section that you see on the top where it says legend uh, is something you can fully control as well. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can control the way that it appears. You can change the formatting. You can change the text size. So you have a lot of flexibility of what you can do with that legend section, but uh, just know it is under your control. You have the ability to change that as you see fit. As I mentioned several times, this one is developed by MAQ Software, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use the Venn Diagram by MAQ Software. All right, now for our example, we're gonna be looking at survey data, and that survey data is going to show us the number of people that were interested in certain movie genres. So for example, I want to know how many people are interested in action movies or comedies, or maybe both. I want to see the correlation of people that like both type of movies. And so that's what we're going to look at here. We're going to go underneath the Get Data section to find our data that we're going to be using. It's going to be an Excel workbook here. And we're going to choose the Survey Questions Excel workbook. And there'll be a spreadsheet in here called Questions. And you can see the questions are basically just very brief. It just says whether they liked action, drama, comedy, or horror and then the number of respondents that responded to each of these. And uh, we're going to bring this in by selecting this. And you'll see the number one represents a yes. So people that only liked action was 65. People that liked action and drama was 125. People that liked action, drama, and comedy was 214. And let's say if people that liked all four of them was 189. So maybe there were some people that it lowered a little bit when you put horror into it. Some people don't like horror, so when you say, oh, I don't like all four of those, but I like these three, the number lowered a little bit. All right, so we'll go ahead and select the questions spreadsheet here and hit load to bring this into the Power BI desktop data model. And then we'll next want to bring in our custom visual that we're displaying for this example. So we're going to go find our custom visual by going underneath the custom visual section right here, and we'll select that we want to bring it in from the store. And once we pull this up, we'll search for Venn to bring in the Venn Diagram, and we'll select the Venn Diagram by MAQ Software and hit Add. And that should add it into our Visualizations pane here once we hit OK. And we'll go ahead and bring this onto our design surface so we can get a good look at it here. All right, so we're going to start by bringing into the Venn Diagram. I'm going to drop into the Measure section the Respondents. So that's the number of respondents. And then we'll need to bring the other four are going to be Categories. So I'll go ahead and select the Action, Comedy, Drama, and Horror as our categories that we want to display. And you can see all four of those displayed here. Uh, we can, of course, increase the text size that you see on the labels and in the legend. So we'll look at that here in a moment. But you'll also note here that you can easily see the correlation between certain type of movies. So I can see, for example, the folks that liked action by itself was 65. The ones that liked action and horror was 45. We're looking at uh, drama and comedy. We can highlight over this section, see 138 people liked the drama and comedy section. Uh, 214 like drama, comedy, and action. So you're able to kind of hover above the different areas and have the tooltip give you some guidance on what exactly you're looking at, what the cross section of the circles or the categories are that you're looking at here. All right, so the, the, the visual here is pretty self-explanatory where the overlapping circles are or where the correlations or the relationships are. So we'll go underneath the format paintbrush though to show you some other techniques that you can uh, use here. Underneath the legend section, if we expand the legend section here, you can actually move the legend or increase the text size of the legend. Maybe you want to bump that up a little bit so you can actually read it. You can bump up the text size of the legend here. You can also change the position of the text si the uh, legend. If you move to the right here, for example, you can see the legend on the right. If you moved it to the right center, you can view it there as well. Or if you want to see it on the bottom, you can move it all around. You've got a lot of places you can kind of move the legend here if you would like. 
I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the top center to have that as a final location for it. You can also change the text that shows here. Right now it says legend. If you wanted to change that from something else, you could change the word legend here to anything else you'd like. Uh, and you can also change some of the formatting if you wanted to. You can even do things like turn off the legend, the title. If you don't like it to say legend at all, you can turn that off. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on in this scenario. All right, then we'll go down to data colors. You can also change the data colors here if you wanted to. Maybe perhaps I wanted the horror to be in red. I can change that around. Maybe I'll make the comedy to be maybe more of a purple. I can change that. I can make uh, drama to be, let's say, more of a blue. And then uh, maybe I'll leave the action as is. And so you can kind of shift the colors around as you see fit underneath the data color section. If you go a little bit farther underneath the label section, you can actually change the color of the labels. So if I wanted to, I can make that a different color if I wanted and makes it a little unreadable here now. Or you can also increase the text size of that. So if you actually want to be able to read it, you might bump up the text size a little bit. So now it's a little bit more easy to read. If you needed to, you could also change the formatting of those labels. So in this case, I don't have any decimal places or they're not very large numbers. So nothing I really need to change here as far as the labels formatting. So I'm going to leave those alone. And then we'll go down to opacity, where I see opacity. Here I can actually lower the opacity and make it where the circles, the external circles, are a little more see-through if I wanted to. So if I lowered that to say, let's say something like 80%, I would make those where they're a little bit more opaque. Uh, let's actually change that to 80, like so. Oops, not cooperating. Let's try that one more time. Let's see, 80. There we go. You can also change the internal opa opacity. So if you wanted to change the internal circles here where they, they cross over each other, you can change that. I might uh, increase it a little bit here. Let's say it's something like 60%. Uh, so it's not as drastic but as it was before, but it is still showing some opacity where there's overlapping uh, circles. So that's really it for this one. There's not a whole lot of other things you might change. You might turn off the title, for example. It's kind of self-explanatory. So I might turn off the title on this one and just have it as a very clear set of values here. You can also see the percentages showing here if you wanted to see what percentage of people like this as a, in, a, in addition to all the other uh, type of movie genres here. So you got a, a nice set of things that are provided to you. Again, you can always turn off the legend or if you wanted to, you could, could just turn off the show value section and just have the labels of the legend and nothing else. So you have a couple different options. So it's a nice little visual here. Very easy to work with whenever you're trying to see correlations or relationships between different categories of data across a single measure. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.